If we have a circle with radius r, then its area is pi r squared. But why so? Let's see. Let's take a circle and divide it into parts. These parts are called sectors. If we take these sectors and keep them vertically, then the figure will look somewhat like this. And if we divide the circle into more sectors and we keep figures like this, then the combined figure will look like this. Can you tell me what this figure looks like? Yes, it looks like a rectangle. And if you notice, this length is equal to the radius. This will be r. And the addition of the upper and lower lengths will be 2 pi r because they total nothing but the entire boundary of the circumference. So the length above will be pi r and the length below will also be pi r. And the area of the rectangle is its length multiplied by its breadth. So multiplying these two, we get pi r multiplied by r, which is pi r squared. So now we know why the area of a circle is pi r squared. In the next video, we shall see one more concept which will prove this. For more such interesting math concepts, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.